Let's have a look at heat maps. Heat maps visualize data through variations in coloring. When applied in a tabular format, heat maps are useful for cross examining multivariate data through placing variables in the rows and columns and coloring the cells within the table. Heat maps are good for showing variance across multiple variables revealing any patterns, displaying whether any variables are similar to each other, and for detecting if any correlations exist in between them. Typically all the rows are one category, labelled displayed on the left or right side, and all the columns are another category, so the labels are displayed on the top or bottom. The individual rows and columns are divided into subcategories which all match up with each other in a matrix. The cells contained within the table either contain color-coded categorical data or numerical data that is based on a color scale. The data contained within a cell is based on the relationship between the two variables in the connecting row and column. A legend is required alongside a heat map in order for it to be successfully read. Categorical data is color coded, while numerical data requires a color scale that blends from one color to another in order to represent the differences in high and low values. A selection of solid colors can be used to represent multiple value ranges, for example, 0 to 10, 11 to 20. 21 to 30, etc. Or you can use a gradient scale for a single range, for example 0 to 100, by blending two or more colors together. Because of their reliance on color to communicate values, heat maps are a chart better suited for displaying a more generalized view of numerical data, as it's harder to accurately tell the differences between color shades and to extract specific data points from, unless of course you include the raw data in the cells. Heat maps can also be used to show the changes in data over time if one of the rows or columns are set to a time scale. An example of this would be to use a heat map to compare the temperature changes across the year in multiple cities to see where's the hottest or coldest places. So the rows could list the cities to compare and the columns contain each month and the cells would contain the temperature values. To find out more information on this chart, such as tools you can use to generate it, follow the link below in the description.